Hi, JJ here with The Art of Value. So if you're a stock investor, you might already know about some of the massive YouTube channels out there to do with investing in stocks. But you may not know about some of the small to medium sized channels. Today, I'm going to talk about five of my favorites and give one example from each channel to give you an idea of, of what the channel's like. So you may already know about the huge channels like Graham Stephan or Financial Education Jeremy or New Money. So this is not these. These are a bit smaller, but they're really good and growing. So let's get straight into it. Let me just say, if you like this video, please drop us a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. Okay, so first up is investing with Tom from my home country. He calls himself a value investor based in New Zealand and investing across the world in his description on the channel. And that could be, that could be my description. And he is also involved in a channel called Punch Card Investing. And it's the group of value investors who talk once a week about different stocks and value investing. But his main channel, Investing with Tom, I've been watching Tom over time for a long time, for the last couple of years. He has some great content. He's a you know, likable guy, affable, and uh, connects well with the audience, I think. Definitely, you know, deserve to grow to the 39,000 subscribers he has today, which is classed as kind of small to medium stars on YouTube, of course, but growing all the time. He has videos on individual companies and famous value investors and portfolio companies. So if you're a value investor, who are, which I am, and you may already know of Tom because it's the biggest here. I'm going to go biggest to smallest in these top five. In Lilu's multi-bagger stock checklist, Tom goes through a talk that Lilu gave at Columbia Business School in 2006. I've seen the talk multiple times actually. It's really good and Lilu's a great investor. And I went to Columbia Business School, well, online course, online programs and value investing that, that they have there, a really good course. So Tom talks about, through some of the highlights of the talk, his favorite highlights and some of Lilu's history, his history with Charlie Munger. Lilu is the only fund manager that Charlie Munger trusts to invest his own money, which Tom talks about. So he talks about who is Lilu, his background, and his investment checklist. So some of the some of the sort of basic principles he uses to to invest to great success. So he talks through some of the individual stocks that uh, Lilu is also invested in: Timberland stock, Hyundai department store in Korea. Tom gives his fi some final thoughts on it. So it's a good video, and it's. A good example of what's on Tom's channel. I'm going to drop links to the channels and these videos in the description by the way so no need to search for them now wait to the end of the video. So the, the next up is Nathan Winkleplek CFA who's a chartered financial analyst and on his channel he says he explores the building blocks of good investing. What are the key bits of information you can leverage to improve your decision making process? We'll do that by looking at empirical data, academic research, and an analytical framework used by some of the world's best investors. So that is true. I've, I'm, Nathan's kind of new to, fairly new to me, but I've it's become his channel's become one of my favorites after looking through quite a few videos. So he, he, I think he explains concepts pretty well in depth. They're well structured videos, compelling long term investing concepts like the coffee can portfolio. If you're familiar with that. Sometimes it is pretty technical. That's just the way his videos are. He's very knowledgeable so in that way, so that's good. So the video I've chosen to talk about of Nathan's is one called He's Crushed the S&P 500 for 25 Years, Three Lessons for 2022. So he starts off with one of the most valuable things you can do as an investor is study the great investors of the past. One of these is Howard Marks. So it's about takeaways from his latest memo from his firm Oak Tree Capital. So I've, I read uh, Howard Marks memos when they come out, as they come out, and this is a good summary. Some of them can be quite long. There's also a, a podcast uh, of the memo itself. It's become kind of leg legendary, a value investor over many years. The memo is called I Beg to Differ, and Nathan talks about who Howard Marks is, a bit of history, that, and not a lot of people know that how great Howard Marks' record is. Nathan says that he has had 23% compounding over many, many years, over 25 years, I think it was, which is pretty good. It's actually more, more than Buffett, but dealing with a bit less money than Buffett. So Howard Marks talks about conventional behavior will result in conventional results. 
in investing, you have to do something different to the crowd, but also be accurate. That's the gist of the memo. So it's this is a good video, and Nathan explains it well, summarizes it well, and gives his thoughts, including at the end he talks about ARC, compares ARC to another fund, about how when the investors pour into a particular fund after it's done well, and then the opposite could happen. It could go down just as much as it's gone up, which is what happened, pretty much what happened to ARC. And so it's not even beating the S&P 500 now. So he used that as an example, his own example at the end. So that's Nathan. Okay, next up is Jay Money, who's Justin, who's been an accountant for about 20 years, he says. And Justin says on his channel, I'm creating this channel to share my ideas in the stock market and general investments. My ultimate goal is to touch people's lives in a positive manner. If you find my videos useful, please pay it forward by teaching someone else the tools and resources. Justin's fairly new to me as well. I've been kind of searching for value investing channels and other investing channels that are a bit smaller than the massive ones. And so I've been through a lot of Justin's videos and it's become one of my favorite channels. You can see if you're on YouTube, some of the some of the videos he has there, seven stocks I'm buying now, Warren Buffett portfolio, insiders are buying this, this cheap $6 small cap stock, David Tepper portfolio, etc. So he goes through super investor portfolios, that sort of thing. And so he's got 16.7 thousand subscribers at the moment, so getting getting bigger, but the cast is medium sized compared to mine. It's big, micro sized at the, at the moment, hopefully getting bigger over time. The J Money video I'm choosing to point out is called Alibaba Stock Update Delisting News 2022. Again, I'll put the link to it in the description. Uh, Baba JD and PDD talks about in this video, but a lot about delisting of possible delisting of Chinese stocks. So he gets pretty detailed here and gives a really good summary and description. I think because of his accounting background, he's pretty well versed in the ins and outs of what's going on. And yeah, it gives a really good summary. It's well worth watching. Description of this is the SEC dropped a, dis a bombshell today that five companies are on a list of potential Chinese stocks that might get delisted by the SEC. This greatly affects other Chinese companies such as Baba, JD and PDD. So he gives his opinion on this at the end on what's going to happen with the, with the possible delisting and just the political and financial situation around it and how Alibaba is structured. J Money is a really good channel I think and uh, it gets pretty detailed, talks about individual stocks and more of a value investing bent as well. So I like it for that reason as well. Okay, next up is stock compounder Brad Kellner. So again, I've been watching Brad's channel for a long time, a few years, about the same time as Tom's, I think. Brad always starts with the opening, what's up stock compounders? And that's <laughs> it's, uh, something that uh, rings through your head whenever you see a thumbnail by Brad. He's also on that channel Punch Card Investing, and they said he's moving house at the moment, I think. So he hasn't had a video for about a couple of months, so hopefully he'll be back soon. I'm sure he will, but I know, Brad, it can be really busy when you're moving house. I did that recently, currently building a house, and so that uh, takes a lot of time to deal with that as well. So this, this channel is about sharing practical and actionable strategies on stock market investing, earning more, avoiding financial mistakes, and boosting your money IQ, he says on, says on the description. So Brad's a... Sh Shameless cloner. He likes Monish Pabri a lot. A lot. Of, he's got a lot of videos on Pabri over the months and years that he's been doing it, and so they're really good to look at. Brad has a good connection with the audience too, and good value investing oriented content. It's thorough, prompt news updates on value investing community. So you can trust Brad to kind of bring us news on new interviews that you see of value investors, or especially Monish Pabri interviews or Buffett. He, and he gets kind of deep in, in quite a few of the videos, goes through summaries of interviews and books and things, and uh, news of super investors, individual companies. Well worth checking out Brad's channel if you don't know it already. The video of Brad's that I've chosen to point to is Terry Smith on investing for growth, compounding with great companies. This is a long video, 52 minutes, but well worth a watch because he talks about uh, Terry Smith's book, which I have read, it's a really good book. It's not strictly value investing. In fact, Terry Smith, he is kind of harsh about, about uh, value investing or a certain, certain form of value investing. 
uh, there are different forms of value investing, but he is more into growth. And I like Terry Smith's point of view. Brad talks about uh, the smaller cap fund, the medium to small cap fund of Terry Smith's company, which is called Smithson. And he talks about the book. He goes through some of the annual meetings for the last three years. So it's really in depth about Terry Smith and gives a good overview of uh, Terry Smith's uh, investing strategy, which can actually be boiled, boiled down to three basic things. Buy only good companies, don't overpay, do nothing, which sounds pretty uh, pretty basic, doesn't it? But there's, also, of course, a lot involved in there. Another thing, he talks about how, you know, this what they look for in, in the good, what are good companies, which is, uh, can be boiled down to a few things as well. High, high return on capital employed, high gross margin, high cash conversion, high interest cover. Those are the things they look for. So basically he says companies that have already won. Anyway, I really highly recommend this video and Brad's channel. Okay, last but not least is Andrew Brown from Australia with uh, nearly 14,000 subscribers, which is uh, not small <laughs> compared to my small channel just starting off, but considered small to medium, I think, on YouTube for investing. So Andrew's a 32-year-old Australian, he says, but I am living in Georgia or Ukraine. I've seen on his videos uh, location, uh, he was in Kiev for a while, so, and I, I noticed in his, in his latest videos he's in Poland, I think he moves around, around, around Europe, but good that he got out of Ukraine for obvious reasons. And he says, the stock market is my main focus. I work to understand what I am actually investing in. I don't like taking big risks. So for me, I found investing in individual companies that I have researched thoroughly as the safest investment for a risk reward perspective. Definitely sounds like uh, value investing. And you see on the banner on his YouTube's, YouTube channel, it says global value investing. It's one of the reasons I like what he is on about. He says, I am aiming for 20% per annum over the long term. Who isn't? I'm, and I'm trying my best to be very long-term investor while making the, the least amount of trades as possible. I'm always involving learning and copying my heroes. My heroes are Manish Paprai, Guy Spear, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Peter Lynch, David Tepper, Chuck Acker, and Thomas Gaynor. So good list of investors to uh, to clone or emulate there. And uh, I like Andrew's content. I've watched, he's fairly new to me when I was looking for new channels, new people to look at. Uh, definitely in the value of investing community and uh, well worth a look. The video I've chosen from Andrew is one called True Leaf Stock Analysis. And it's about a US cannabis company, True Leaf. So this is kind of out of out of his circle of competence, he says. So he's it's interesting because he he's kind of learning along with us about the company, about the sector, and as he goes along, he he, he puts a lot of thought and research into each company and learning about it and learns about it over time. So this is a good one for that. And it's a sector that I am interested in, that I've I know a lot about myself over time, over the last uh, couple of years. And so I found this one interesting and I know I know truly. So this is a good video to watch if you want to know about that particular company and a bit about the sector and how Andrew goes about learning about new companies and analyzing them. All right, that's it. That's my top five for now. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please drop us a like and subscribe if you're not already and follow if you're follow if you're on audio somewhere else other than YouTube. And I'll see you next time.